Welcome to the kitchen. When you are trying to chop potatoes, slice potatoes rather, without going all the way through, it's easy to accidentally go all the way through. So, if you simply place a cutting board there, you may slice potatoes almost all the way to the bottom, but not entirely to the bottom. Like so. So, what you get in the end, of course, is a completely sliced potato all the way, except right at the very bottom. See? As you can see, I've sliced four of these. Yeah. Not sliced from there to there. And you can control how close you get by pushing it further out because you can look at the angle of the knife on the cutting board. There goes a the potato. So you can see the, the closer to the, this cutting board you have it, the potato, the bigger will be the part at the bottom that doesn't have the cut. To make the cut uniform, since it tapers up on both ends, you can gently roll the potato towards the part that you're cutting. And as you continue to cut, you can slowly roll back towards the other end. Or you can keep it flat and see what happens. Either way, it's up to you. Okay, well done. We now have a dish of partially sliced potatoes. Isn't that wonderful? Now you can drizzle butter and seasonings over it and bake it. Or Is that what you do? I don't know. Don't ask me what you do with food. You eat it. You eat it. That's all I know. You make sure you have one of those, a recipe. Right. Sorry, They're pork. I was wrong. Which I like pork. put the butter on after they baked. Oh, nice. Yummy. Okay. Yummy. And asparagus. Uh, and meatballs. Asian meatballs. Oh wow, that looks amazing. And actually you were supposed to bake them first and then pour the butter all over it. And seasonings and mm, meatballs, asparagus, and oh, okay, well we'll give you your food. Oh, how about the...